Hello and welcome to the first review part of the Product Enterprise review series. God, that is a bit of a mouthful. Um, and yeah, we'll be looking at the Clockwork Dalek to kickstart this series. Um, so I will do a bit of history on the product um, after we've done the packaging. So without further ado, let's look at the so packaging. Here is the packaging of this lovely box. And as boxes go, this is a pretty nice box. And you might be wondering why the design is quite retro. Well, um, it is very evocative of the 60s and I'll explain why this product is very much like it was done in the style of the 60s in the little history section for it. So there we go, we've got the, from the BBC television series Doctor Who, uh, strong clockwork with realistic action, got the nice little clockwork Dalek logo there. We've got a mock-up image of the product there with this sort of starry background, which does remind me of the tweenies, then we've got what somebody paid for it in Forbidden Planet. I didn't actually get this from Forbidden Planet, I paid 21 quid for this from eBay. Um, and if you're after one of these, they generally go from about 20 to 40 quid. So that's kind of the price you're looking for to pay for this. So we've got the Product Enterprise logo there. 14 plus, that's quite a bit of a shocker. You're normally seeing like 5 plus or whatever. But this is not a toy, adult collectors only. So it is a collector's piece, but hey ho. There's the other, the bottom of the box, then the side, exactly the same there. And then the back of the box, and we've got a bit of a history on the product there. So do feel free to pause if you want to know more about the product. Then we've got a little sticker saying blue because there are two variants. There is a black version um, there, Product Enterprise there, 14 plus, etc. So that's basically the box. Now let's go on to the history. Right, on to the history section for this product. Now, Product Enterprise released this back in 2005 and I got this back in uh, 2012. Now, going back to the box, now, like I said, it is very much in the style of sort of the Dalek Mania period. Um, and this is basically a sort of a replica um, of the Codage um, Clockwork Dalek, what they did back in 1965. I'll put an image on the screen now. You can see Product Enterprise's version isn't exactly the same as that. They sort of kept the, sort of the style and the basicness um, of it, but obviously modified it to sort of a modern sort of 2000 sort of audience of Doctor Who fans because obviously the base was basically um, card and obviously they've got a bit of plastic so they made it a bit more robust but it still is very much in the style of that 1960s product so that's a little bit of history um, for it I mean uh, Daypol did do a little reproduction of the Louis Marx Dalek so yeah Product Enterprise sort of capitalised on that and did the Clockwork Dalek which I'm not complaining because it is a very nice little retro piece. Just a quick little side note um, adding to the codage um, sort of thing they only did two Doctor Who products they did the Clockwork Dalek and a Dalek money box so there's a bit of trivia for you for some early bits of Doctor Who uh, merchandise um, but going on to the Product Enterprise version now the little key selling point for that Dalek was it was made of tin and Product Enterprise I've sort of continued that because the skirt section is tin, the sort of mid section there, that is tin there, that bit of uh, the black section there, and the black section uh, on the neck bin is tin, and the dome is tin as well. So it's a nice little sturdy and quite a nice little retro feel. Like it does have that retro look to it, which I really like about this product. So if we look at the articulation, the head does move slightly, but that's more activated when you uh, do the clockwork section there. The plunger can do a full 360 standard Dalek articulation and it's quite a lot free so you can get quite a bit of posing because it has no sort of hindrance there because it's sort of slanted a lot more so it can have a full range of articulation there and so can the gun so that's really nice and of course it is on wheels which you can kind of move but I wouldn't recommend it personally and we do have the eye does move as well, so that's nice. So yeah, standard Dalek articulation. Really. Moving on to detail there, we've got the lovely dome mic painted there to make it sort of stand out. We do have the eye stalk with the, the eye rings on the eye stalk, which I do believe are the correct amount of rings on the eye stalk. I'm not exactly a Dalek expert when it comes to what how many rings it has on its eye stalk, um, how it varies, so yeah, it's done rather nice. The neck um, bin doesn't have any grating in between. And the midsection doesn't have any slats because it is very much like the first Daleks we ever saw. Got the nice little plunger detail to give that effect that it can extend. And the gun, I really like the gun on this Dalek because it does look very Hartnell-esque um, and it's done rather nice and it's quite a big gun. Um, I do believe the plunger is just a little bit longer than that and then uh, the base section is done rather nice. And this is what makes this Dalek a bit more quirky. It doesn't have any hemispheres, they're just flat, they're two-dimensional. And we do have a bit of a white sort of 
crescent above the hemispheres to look like the light is shining off them. So that's a nice little trick what they did. So yeah, detail is very minimalistic, but that's kind of what the product was going for. It's meant to be a sort of a replica of what if um, Codage um, were doing the Clockwork Daleks in with the sort of 2000 uh, technology. So yeah, might be basic, but that's the essential what the product is. It is a basic uh, Dalek variant. Right, this is the fun part of the bit I am dreading. Um, so yeah, we've got to talk about the clockwork action. Uh, the Dalek should come with this, the key to activate his strong clockwork action. Um, so as you can see, there is a little hole there where you just simply put the key in and it doesn't work. What you've got to do to activate the strong clockwork action is you've got to push it in and start winding up. And like I said, this is the bit I'm dreading. As you can see, as soon as I started to turn it, his head did spring into action. Um, because this is the bit where it could just end horribly wrong and he can just go off the shelf because he does have a bit of his mind of his own. Right, are we ready for the clockwork Dalek? I think he is. Let's let him go. And I apologise for the noise what he's going to make because he does like to churn the ground up because he is a pretty nippy Dalek. So off we go. Let's launch him. Thank God the DVDs were there, here, and hopefully you can see the head does move. There we go, that's just to show that the head does move to give him that sort of patrolling look, um, or not the Dalek, what looks a bit like a bit of a, a mad Dalek. So yeah, that is the clockwork action, that is just a lot of fun to be honest, and it's a nice little novelty thing, so I suppose let's look at the size comparison for him, so you know how big the Dalek actually is. Right, onto the size comparison. Um, so I've picked a standard 60s Dalek. Um, I've picked the Chase Guard Dalek figure because um, it's very much the same sort of color scheme um, for that. You know, very much like a Peter Cushing movie Dalek without the jazzy dome lights and the, the big fender and without the claw. So yeah, it's very much like that. Um, so you can see um, the Clockwork Dalek is just a little bit taller than your average 60s Dalek from character options. So that's quite nice, but he is in scale. And I think it's only right that we put a five inch Doctor next to them. So we've got the first Doctor there, as you can see, perfectly in scale with um, the Clockwork Dalek. So you could do figure adventures using this Dalek. I used to use him as the time controller figure. Um, so if I just get another Product Enterprise talking Dalek, um, which I believe these are eight inches. So yeah just um a bit taller um than the clockwork dalek as you can see but um yeah very nice um so it's quite nice to have that in scale with the other five inch figures and let's add a little day pole figure just for a bit of fun there you go little day pole figure because you can see clockwork dalek perfectly in scale with the five inch figure so overall nice. what do i think of this product well i love it i love the whole retro vibe to it because it does have that sort of retro feel to it and look to it it just screams the 60s but just looks modern as well it is a great little mock-up of what if um code edge um were doing the clockwork daleks in this modern age um so yeah honestly it's a great little product a lot of fun can be had with it especially with the clockwork um feature so you can have them patrolling around um so yeah there's a lot of fun you can have and it's a nice little collector's piece dare i say and definitely worth tracking down in my eyes i think it's a nice little piece um, what fits in rather nicely with all your other Dalek figures and it's just a very nice obscure bit of Doctor Who merchandise I feel and it's just beautiful and look at the box just absolutely marvellous so yeah I would definitely recommend tracking this down um, like I said there are two variants like the blue one and a black version where has just the black dome and black hemispheres that's literally the only difference um, so yeah a lot of fun to be had and just a great little product and I absolutely love him and uh, yeah he stays on the shelf over there in that little corner guarding the perky section so yeah there we go clockwork Dalek review done and dusted so thank you very much for watching this review and I'll see you in my next review which will be a review of the contingency club a fifth doctor story from the main range back in February um, so yeah that concludes this video hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video what will be that so thank you very much and goodbye